Nuts! And we're going to do an improv show for you today. All we need is one word. Poodle. 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 Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, I had a poodle named Ralph growing up. And uh, Ralph didn't know he was a poodle, first of all. And I uh, lived in Erie, Pennsylvania. And we used to just open up the back door and Ralph would go out and do his thing. <clears throat> Ralph was kind of like the neighborhood. Uh, did anybody ever uh, see American Gigolo? <laughs> Back in the 1970s, there was a movie called American Jiggle. And Ralph could be like, you know, like opening. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph, anyway, would, would literally uh, like make it with all the neighbor dogs to the point like we had to take it to the vet to get a testosterone shot because he had worked the neighborhood so hard. <laughs> I couldn't find him, and I'm out looking for dogs, and I come upon this dog, and I'm like, my God, that's Ralph. But I, when I got up to Ralph, and named him after Ralph Crandon and the Honeymooners, uh, I walk up to him, and it's not him, it's one of his siblings, one of his kids. Oh. Another dog, so. Uh, so, in here in Pennsylvania, uh, this one dog was probably, you know, a booty daddy to well over, like, eight or nine uh, female dogs in there. <laughs> Bitch got around. <laughs> Take over. That's what I say. Yeah. I don't mind if Larry and Sarah. Yeah. Cockatoo, right? I don't. I don't mind if they make love. Well. I don't know much about Larry. I've seen him around, but um, Larry's a great dog. He's a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, doesn't have papers, but uh, oh, he's what do you mean? A hard worker. <laughs> How about his breeding? Un unsure. <laughs> uh, but he comes from a good home. Well, I mean, I'm sure up for giving a poor dog a second chance, I guess, but I mean. Sarah here, I mean, she's a peach. She's beautiful. Uh, I mean, just, just watch. <laughs> wow. wow, I've never seen a dog do the tulip dance. <laughs> Quite impressive. Um, Larry is, is, is more intellectual, I would, I would, I would say. Um, watch this. Um, Freud. <laughs> well, I mean, sure he's intellectual, but I need a, a dog who can protect Sarah when she's, you know, out and about the streets, and you know, who knows if a cougar might come by or a this is, lion. This is, this is an absolutely fair point. I, I agree with you 100%. Um, I feel like he would out-talk the cougar. You know, <laughs> you can come up with something interesting, maybe find a rapport with them, and give Sarah plenty of time to, to hit the dusty trail back to safety. I, would, I mean, I'm guessing. I don't, I don't know the language of dogs. All right. Well, look, the, not that I really like Larry, but there's, there's a lot of shady dogs around this place. I, I, I've been yeah. searching for Sarah for a long time, and I couldn't find a good suitor. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want Sarah to come across. <laughs> I don't even want to say the dog's name. We, we spent a lot of time on Parker and uh, there's not a lot of dogs here. <laughs> Larry, get back here. I think Larry's right there. You better watch it. Oh. <laughs> Rough. I can see Sarah melting already in his gaze. This is a test for Larry. <laughs> Be careful, Larry. I hear the dogs, I hear the female dogs love him, and, and male dogs want to be him, so I, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs>
terrible husband. You keep put up with me. I just, I, I just, I just see the good parts of you. I just see the world. The, Things that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> I prefer to. Don't show me the video. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just hearing about it isn't. I know it, the image is still up on the screen. Can you okay. I'm going to put Sanford and some back on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we see there in the audio video section of the Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> I love TV, man. It's not the place where I would choose to have this conversation. <laughs> Don't you feel alive in front of all these TVs? <laughs> oh. Where would you rather have? I don't know. You just never take me anywhere romantic. You just never take me the best vibe. I'm sure I'm like, I'm like a 47 inch screen as much as I as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ever take me to you? You take your women, you take your women to Paris. You haven't even taken me to to a bistro. Would you go? Yes, I love food. <laughs> you have been. Can I just be honest? Can I be honest? I'm tired of lying. You are. You're really you're not a good husband. <laughs> And I've been waiting for the right moment to say this, and I don't think this is. So you just see anything you like? <laughs> <laughs> this is a like really, the Samsung over there, fifty-five inch. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a, one of our top models. That's. that's Tell me, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you married? Yeah. What's your wife's name? Carol. Carol. Uh, when's the last time you took Carol out to dinner? Well. uh... Not dinner per se, but we, we went to a Bed Bath Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know Bed Bath Beyond. No, we, I want to go to London. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Madrid. So I, cute. No, <laughs> this is something that people really do. Married couples really go. They don't. Yes, they go on vacations together. Being married is like doing your taxes every day. No, there's <laughs> more. There's more. That was that guy said no. Let me. Let me you guys see the, the Curve 4Ks? It just, just came out. Just came That's out. beautiful. Yeah. Let me ask you, what's your name? Uh, Jason. You work here, Jason? Yeah, of course. Geek Squad. You remind me of our son. Uh, which reminds me, I need to get a job application from you on my way out. But are you married? Of course. Are you? Yes, we're good. Of course, He's 21. Does he need a job? I need to know, are you married? Yes. What's your wife's name? Carol. Carol? <laughs> <laughs> are you married to women named Carol? <laughs> Who knew? You know, I forget. I need to know. Story. Carol? <laughs> How long have you been married? Oh, gosh. Eight and a half years. And where's the last place you took Carol? Marshalls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, Carol, get in here. <laughs> Lewis, that means you too. Chaps. <laughs> now look, there's quite a few eligible bachelors at the Best Buy. I say go in as a team and strike. Mmm, very interesting. Maybe you can make one of those rabbit holes for us, so they don't even see us coming. I'll sweep in and wow them with my six foot eight height. You are you and, and are my command of the English language. <laughs> <laughs> that is your strength. Maybe we don't want to go in with the competition. No, 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 no. I was just going to go with the push up bra. So. <laughs> Carol, so smart. You look fantastic when your breasts are. But thrust it up, Carol. <laughs> it's terribly painful, but it works. I read a short story about it, in fact. Here we go. All right. If it's about me. <laughs> How did you make the paper fly? 
It's special paper I have made it personally for me. <laughs> Alright, come on, get it together, ladies. We, look at this, we're just looking at this tiny little TV. That cow. Wow, we need the inside men. Hey, that was my TV. <laughs> Uh, TV um, makes me think of my grandma's house. Uh, growing up, my grandmother lived uh, in this like cinder block house in Central Florida. Um, and it's like yeah, Florida, <laughs> um, in this like one stop like town called Eatonville. And um, she had this ancient television that didn't work, but. She never got rid of it, and uh, we would watch um, Highlander, the yeah. show, because she was yeah. she was obsessed with Adrian Paul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I watched a lot more Highlander than I thought I ever would, uh, just because my grandmother was obsessed with Adrian Paul. <laughs> well, there can be only one film. I don't care what you say. What? I said, I don't care what you say. I'm winning that pageant. We can't share it? There can be only one. Can you read the rules? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Why? Because we grew up together baking pies. Can't we just share this make off? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last year of eligibility. Sorry. There's only one pie queen, and it's me. <laughs> I'm gonna mix that batter, I'm gonna make myself a pie, and then you're gonna watch yourself die. Cut the competition. <laughs> You 
said there were no earthquakes in Nebraska. <laughs> and I just got a trip. We left California <laughs> to come here, and I just got a It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm a little freaked out. I'm going to just unclench your hands, do your breathing. <laughs> Francisco, you're in Omaha. Yo, hey, I've seen civilization. I'm all. Look at that. Look at that. It's a stick and shake. It's a man. <laughs> hey, tectonic plate. Hey, 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 hey,
oh shit, you know, like that, like they're right on the other side of that fence. So I climbed an eight foot chain link fence. <laughs> on my way down, I ripped open the ass of my jeans. And I'm like, I go over and like, you know, I don't know if you've ever met like a famous person in person after you've known them for a while, like as a famous person. <laughs> after you see them in, like out on stage and it's like, Wait, you don't, like, I'm, I met Sean Penn once at LAX, and I was like, you're five feet tall. <laughs> um, and uh, so I, I go up there, and I'm just like, Justin? And these girls, these, like, 13-year-old girls just turn, like, in mass, and they're like, that's not Justin. <laughs> and it was this boy from the opening band that, like, nobody had heard of except 13-year-old girls. And I was like, it's so I had to turn around with my ass and my jeans <laughs> open and climb back over the fence. <laughs> and uh, the concert was still awesome. <laughs> that was a low point. Ross <laughs> Callis was a lonely man. Most of the people he met never met his expectations. So he drank. <laughs> Ross was haunted by the memory of the woman he had lost. Esmeralda. She had torn out his heart and left for Albuquerque. He thought maybe once his phone would ring, and her magic ring would appear. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, this call's being recorded. <laughs> 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 